Hello everybody, welcome back. Um, just a quick check in today, I think. Um, so, uh, we had four games today to finish off uh, Group A and uh, B, um, which means we now have uh, confirmation of the exact spots that the next, or the, the top four teams are going to be in, um, as well as sort of the position of um, the next, the, the best three um, are the best third place teams, uh, and all that. So, um, <clears throat> I, I guess I misled everybody in thinking that China Spain was going to be a good match because on paper it was, you know, you'd have, uh, I think it was 12 versus 16, um, in the rankings and, uh, it ended up being nothing, nothing. So, um, yeah, that's boring. Uh, and I don't think it was that exciting, but to be honest, I didn't pay too much attention to it, uh, this morning. Um, at the same time, uh, South Africa played Germany. Germany finally got goals, uh, scored, started scoring some goals. So um, they put four past South Africa. Um, thanks to South Africa for, for coming to the World Cup um, to lose three games um, with uh, only one goal, uh, goal scored. So uh, sucks to be them, but uh, alas... They must improve, uh, and I think they will. Um, in general, I think most of the teams are. But Germany advances. Um, I think the record, or I think that just means that they're, or this is like their eighth time advancing. Um, they really, I mean, they're they're a well-established women's side, so uh, it's really not a big surprise there. Um, I think the big game was France versus Nigeria today. I think, uh, shockingly, it was nothing, nothing, and then um, VAR got involved again, and I don't know. I liked VAR in the Men's World Cup last year, but this year, I don't know. It's it, Maybe it's just the implementation of the new rules. There's, um, there's a new rule in place that goalkeepers have to be on the goal line um, when taking penalty kicks, and many goalkeepers nowadays haven't been doing that. Um, I think, or, uh, so it's like, it's getting tough. Some of the new rules are a little bit annoying, uh, and especially when it comes to implement, uh, implementing them with VAR, which is video review, it just gets a little bit annoying, and then, uh, I don't know. Uh, and so I feel f bad for Nigeria because, um, they, uh, they probably could have gotten an extra point, um, against France, which would have put them... Um, they would have had four points, which is uh, would have put them as probably one of the better third place teams. Um, as it is, they have three points, but their goal differential is negative two um, instead of being negative one. So you know, uh, it would it would be uh, terrible for them to uh, go out in that way. Um, but we'll just have to see what other results um, show for. Uh, for them to go through. The other game was Norway versus South Korea. Norway scoring two, South Korea only getting one. This was not a great game, a uh, great tournament for South Korea exiting, um, having only scored one goal um, and uh, losing um, pretty badly both times um, to, um, to Norway and to France uh, just in general. Just not a good tournament for them. Um, and of course, that's why they are out of it. Um, but we do have confirmation now of four teams who are on to the knockout stage. So we've got Germany um, and Norway and then France and Spain. Spain gets to slip into the, um, the spot uh, that is um, that will be playing uh, either the United States or Sweden, whoever... Um, gets uh, the or wins Group F. So um, I think if the United States plays them, I think that would be a very um, that would be a, a nice, easier, excuse me, an easy enough challenge. Um, it certainly wouldn't be um, too bad. I think the other uh, let's see the other person, the other team. I think. They would go on to the other side of the bracket, I think. Um, yeah. I think they would play... 
let's see, it doesn't say here on, um, on that, but they might play like a team, I think maybe England, something like that, Japan, no, they would play a first place team. So they might play like the Netherlands, England, or Italy, or something like that. Um, but obviously, we want to win the group. Uh, I think we have a, a great chance of doing so, as we have a great chance of winning every game um, and all that. Um, as far as tomorrow, games to look out for, Italy versus Brazil. That's it, too. Uh, and, well, there's only two games tomorrow anyway. And then the other one, Jamaica-Australia. should be relatively easy for Australia to beat Jamaica. Um, and depending on the results uh, between um, Italy and Brazil, we'll see. So far, it looks like uh, if Brazil don't lose too badly or they draw uh, or even if they win, um, that would be very interesting to actually see because I think that would put three teams on six points in Group C, which would certainly get um, – that would certainly get – Brazil and Australia through. Um, I think that was certainly a, a strong group to begin with. Um, other than that, um, kind of a slow day. And then the uh, Wednesday is also only has two games on it. But then um, Thursday is when the U.S. play again and all that. But uh, so that's that's what it is for, for today. So we'll just have to see. Um, again, now that we're finishing up the group stage, we're just... Um, we're figuring out who's who's in and in what spots in the bracket and then um which third place teams are going to survive so um so far uh i think we could say that china is through with four points um but after that who knows so anyway i'll check in probably after wednesday um just because of the the amount of games but um Check in Italy, Brazil tomorrow. That's going to be probably a good one. Uh, other than that, I will catch you next time. Thanks for tuning in.